Whoa, just kidding. Uh, hey, folks. I don't know about you, but my Switch has been helping me out during this pandemic. Let's check this one out. Uh, it's got PS4. The trigger switch. <laughs> the trigger switch. Make sure you give it a trigger warning. Yes, the most effective minds have just a stop button that says stop on it. Can I take the mine now? Fine as she is. I thought maybe I could take the mine and become, get like the mine shot. I'd be out of here in no time. To upgrade my Mega Buster. I mean Psycho Gun. And then boom, it blows up because it's like, it's of course, hitting some stupid switch isn't going to help. What the? What the? Oh, wow, it is. Oh, boy. In less than a minute, we're going to have one hell of a fireworks display. So the stop button is really just add the timer. Okay, leave the room. We're getting anime <laughs> intensity the lines. Turbo speed. I'm but surprised. Out there, we got Sister Queen and the Priest are both they evil, let, right? They let me just put leave the room and we're just booking it. Yeah. You're not being forced to select advance to the next screen like in dialogue text boxes four times. No. God. She'll be oh no, crushed. there were insects in there. Innocent insects. Ew, I hate bugs. I can't possibly exit the room now, even though it's collapsing. Eyes, good eyes up here, uh, Cobra. Cobra. Yeah, come on, man. I don't know how, but we made it. It's mainly because you ran. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, we got some scene music here. Nice. I expected as I, much from you. Oh, this is. I expected as much from you, Mr. Cobra. I suppose we should talk first. Let's. He might talk us to death <laughs> if we don't immediately fight. Vigoro. The guild. <laughs> exactly. Allow me to introduce myself. It's like every other I'm villain in the, the game. Twelve members of the ruling council of the pirate guild. There's like twelve thousand members. He's one of the 12 members of the ruling council, though. Oh, he's got a body! Just like everybody else that's important. He's got, like, badass space armor, man. Hi, queen. <laughs> I, too, am one of the members of the ruling council. You thought I was only a sexy nun? No, I'm a sexy pirate! I'm known as the Red Queen. <laughs> Why wouldn't she just take off the robe? Why did she have to glow with eldritch power? And what about Dominique? Goes to you, you lead the way. I must be slipping in my old age. I'm straight up slipping, boo. Anything else to say, Queen? She says yes. One of my boys snuck into the turtle. What? He told me what you were up to, so we decided to throw this party for you. We have to talk to Vigaro somewhere, don't we? I know, but I'm just getting through one of the okay. conversations. So I get the sexy queen dialogue first. Mm. All right. I'm curious what happens if you just fight them right away, but. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you're a tad late. The tattoo is mine. I've been looking for that design for a while, and now I'm putting it on my back. Figaro, are you the one who burned Dominic's back? <laughs> yes, it was quite amusing. Why, you filthy. <laughs> Too late, Cobra. We now possess the last tattoo. I hate to say goodbye, but I really must be going. How did they get Jane's tattoo? However, you won't be lonely. We're leaving behind an old friend of yours to keep you company. That's right, the the wrestler from ten videos ago. I hope it's the giant oh, no, robot. It's... <laughs> that no, would be amazing. Boy. Oh, it's a crystal boy. Yeah, he's the most disappointing of all. You yeah, know we know it's Crystal Boy. Stop with the reveal. 
they're busy loading up the ka-chunk noise. That's not water dripping, it's Crystal Boy. Uh, you know, I just preferred Regular Boy. When they came out with Crystal Boy, I was like, what's the point of this? You know, I thought Boy 2 got a bad rap. <laughs> if I wanted a, a clear uh, person, I would have just gotten 7-Up Boy. <laughs> the un person. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> they really have no respect for the stained glass. Crystal Boy should be upset by that. He's a glass man. What? I, I couldn't hear you over the. If it's all the same to you, I think I'll take a rain check. A oh, rain check. No, rain. it's not rain. It's the sound of an explosive mine. Haven't you figured that out yet? So long, buddy. But he's a prism. The laser just bounces around and comes right back at you. Surely he must realize. No, he doesn't get it. He needs to use his hell powers. What? <laughs> What's wrong? Didn't you get the results you expected? Now you know. Dusta, dusta. Why are his shoulder blades on the front? My body is made of special polarized glass. You know, of all the things that are wrong with Crystal Boy's body, the positioning of his shoulder blades is the thing that strikes you as odd. Body is stronger than any alloy in the known universe. Special polarized glass. Huh. It's made of special glass that gets darker when you go out in the sun, but then lightens back up when you go indoors, so you don't have to have sunglasses. Boy's shoulder attack. Cobras are real bad. Such a lame name for a villain. I mean, I can't imagine that it sounds even any cooler Japanese. Nice Crystal boy. You should quit killing Cock blocking. I should be getting it on with a third sister by now. <laughs> You're a tough opponent. I'm very impressed. I wonder if you'll still find things so funny when you lay dying. Probably. Uh -huh. Die with a laugh. Like if it's a Sierra type death, it might, maybe it'll be good. Maybe I won't be the loser. You seem to have forgotten. I didn't come here alone. I know you are, <laughs> Cobra or Cyber uh, Crystal Boy. But what am I? <laughs> I really mangled that. <laughs> That is the plan. One day, but not today. Also, the lady is doing something to help you. Also, this bird Good is night. blowing up. Oh, it's, it's, it's like Neon Big Bird isn't even a real bird. It's some kind of robot. Some kind of Neon Big Bird? <laughs> this Big Bird some kind of Neon Big Bird? Wait, are we... Oh, wow, we get to control lady. <laughs> All hell's breaking loose. The big bird is blowing up. Bird is blowing up. The bird, the bird. Let's check out the radar. I'm not getting any it's readings. Not getting any readings. Look, no, you don't. You don't get it. This is like the little break where you know, for like just a brief shining moment, we play as Zero instead of Mega Man. Now we're playing as Lady instead of Cobra. This is the Guide N. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Lady Gaiden. It's like Lady Raiden, except uh, Raiden was already pretty much a lady. Ooh. What's gone wrong? Why isn't he reporting in? Why is this radio not working the same way it doesn't work 90% of the story? What do I wish to scan? I'm the Bombo. Anything? This is my Kaiden. 
within the ship for somebody bad. All right, at least we'll get some sweet weaponry. Look, we got a blunderbuss in the middle there. Oh man, let's get the Thunder Vulcan. Three million. Oh. Well, now we got to think. Like, what do we actually want to use against Crystal Boy? No, that's Is true. electricity going to work against Crystal Guy? Well, three million no volts of won't. blast fire. Nothing can withstand the blast. Mm -hmm. Laser rifle, deep fry your friends with this wonder of nature. What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm that thinking like... No sense in any way. Oh, do we actually need to save here? Well, we can't Because I'm thinking... Anything. Oh. So what's the point of this? I... I don't know. Maybe we'll come back later and grab something? I suspect you take the thing that will shred a ship. Yeah, no, the python. The 24-inch python's brother. That's what you need, because it, that, that should shatter a glass. Something has surrounded the ship. It could be I other asked you to use that scanner before, and you refused. Mm. <laughs> neon little birds are surrounding the ship, or perhaps non-neon, like pastel big birds. The turtle is surrounded by Foot Clan ninjas. No, we, well, no, we can look outside. Okay. Ah! What the? It was a jump scare. <laughs> She's not really that um, competent a uh, protagonist, is she? Ah! Scan within the ship yet? What do you wish to scan? Hi guys! Come on, lady, use your scanner. Ah! I'll scan the ship. Red Devil model, armored dimensional undercover infantryman. It's the Red Devil Barabbas. Pirate kill blitz force. Oh man, they're gonna form like some sort of. Armament, magnetic flux gun, and 20 millimeter blaster, standard equipment, man, game over! The lead travel through dimensions undercover. What? what? This thing's amazing! Cool. These things sucked before. Why are they so good now? Or oh, I guess this is a different. Fast through all barriers and obstacles, baby! Dimensional undercover infantrymen. They're using pallet 0123. Oh, now they're on the inside. It's in the ship, you just got done this- oh. <laughs> They're inside, they boarded the ship! They're weighing down the turtle, not all moving like a slug! Okay, so she apparently is not capable of doing anything about this. Then they'll come after my right and left mechanical boobs! Um, Listen intently, Zerfall. I'm trying. Whoosh. <laughs> can we can we get guns now? Go to the armory, grab a gun, and fucking kill them. Apparently, we're just looking at things still. All right. <laughs> A oh, too come on. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the Sega CD, you're so excited, and this is the game you get with it. And you're like, I could play freaking Sonic, but I already have Sonic. The CD adds nothing to that experience. Is Big Bird still just blowing up? 
Nein. Okay, das ist Topf. Big Bird's on fire. This is the bird's the fast bird. He's on fire. The turnover, it's good. Are they moving? My if my poor engine goes, I'm space matter. You do space matter, robot lady. Now I can leave the room. Only five to take care of. Off to the poor engine room. Time for Lady B Bombo to make her mark. Oh, we even have walking animations for her now. Let's see if she's able to play the piano. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Sure, that, that makes sense. Listen. Do you smell okay. that? I think I smell... <laughs> oh, that sound! I can detect it with my eyes! Oh, come on! If you make one mistake. And it takes us back to... Lady's dead. The fat lady is dead. I was about to say, and it takes us back to um, when we're trying to escape from the prison <laughs> that was crashing. <laughs> this is your punishment, sir. If you made a mistake, now we must listen to this sound. Oh, good hint. Better get to the engine room. Oh, but Armory was there. Oh, I should have got the Armory. All right. And now we don't have a gun to fight them. Yes, well, it kept making me only look at them before, so I didn't grab it. No, I understand. It's yeah. fine. I it's I, I get me, it. It's not letting Let's me go have to the engine room. To... Oh, do I have to press the button? The engine room is down more, and it won't let me go down. Maybe you... Yeah, I can't go up back into the other room either. Maybe you have to mess up? If you didn't pick up again, are they in here? Hey, look, it's the guy. I bet you anything he's a, one of the 11 uh, leading members of the Pirate Council. Huh? Is that... What the? I chased an explosion! <laughs> I had to fast forward. I couldn't handle it anymore. Okay, we gotta save now. We have to save Scum our way past this game. We don't have the skills to handle it otherwise. Now we can take guns. They blow the crap out of the ship. Um, you need another one. Python if it can. So no matter which one you take, you end up taking two. We're getting another one. Put it down, or only five of them. Off to the port engine room. Oh, oh we even have to do something animation. kind of badass during her action chapter here. And now it's letting us go downwards. Let's go see if there's any naked women in the shower. The Red Devil. Forever. The Thunder Vulcan. In action! Red Devil is waste material. Red Devil is whacked. The Red Devil. Ha! Thunder Vulcan power. Good thing I took the other gun too, even though I said Thunder Vulcan. Look. No other enemies. Yup, you didn't have... The, that wasn't the right thing to do. We have to start over. You shouldn't have looked. Here we go. The Red Devil. You know, sometimes you the Red Devil you know is better than the... talking plant that's annoying. Yeah, we should about blow it up. Shit, no more ammo. There's still a red if devil. We have a there? second gun. Flux gun power. We got to pistol whip it to death. 
Ooh, lady ducks, the laser rifle replies. So that was just them messing with us, basically. Oh, it's it's a comic book. It I'm trying to create some tension here. Take cut cover. I'll be right there. Red Devil I'm your for friend. That's yeah, a robot. More an airplane. Argon Big Bird. Yeah, we figured that out. I don't know why Cobra can't. What? For the first time ever, we have little bars. What do you have planned? Mind, life, and enemy. All right, let's... Save state Suddenly edit. it's turning into, like, a real game. <laughs> yep. So I just... I need to do one thing before we get in this fight, and that... What happens if we just fight these people? I'm in a bind. If I start a fight, Dominique will be caught in the crossfire. She'll be caught up in the she crossfire. Isn't that what happens anyway, Cobra? Yeah, but he doesn't know that yet. Okay, I just needed to know what would happen if we... Uh... Okay. I yeah, was hoping it was going to be this whole separate, like, hey, you ended the game early by just killing the two jerks that you need to. Yep. All right. I mean, he has a shoulder attack, First so let's, him show up. let's try our own. Shoulder against shoulder, let's do this. I mean, turnabout is fair play. Boyd takes one. Crystal Boy is a bad name, but then calling him Boy. Come on, oh. don't use the same attack as somebody just used. That's lame. Ah, uh, but you don't take one. No. It didn't seem to do any damage, though. No, I do like kicks. Did you see the intensity of that kick? Yeah, like the explosion that came out of your thigh. But he missed. Is he going to counter with a shoulder? Shoot. Cycle gun is done. The cloth. <laughs> Sounds pretty neat. <laughs> he catches one. I lost so much life. Double whammy. My mind's okay, though. Boy, it sails through the air and lands behind. Prepare to die. How come he gets two attacks? He really shouldn't have chosen kick, man. I should have chose claw of death. Apparently, it works pretty good. <sighs> he catches one. Cobra is sliced and diced. Oh man, I think he's got you in an infinite loop now. He's Julian fried me. Okay, so punch. Shoulder attack didn't do anything. I mean, I, I feel like this is a plot thing that you just, they make you go through all this and then Lady rescues you. That's my guess. When did we stop being able to hit enemies? And also, I thought we were made out of like, I don't know, Kevlar. polarized flesh. There was something about how we were made out of not regular stuff a while ago. Well, I mean, we are pulling off our arm to reveal our cannon. <laughs> yep. Our regular body is supposed to be not just a regular body as well, though. I suppose we're surviving more, multiple claws of death, so... They're either poorly named or we're stronger than normal. And we can be sliced and diced many times. Julian Fries, they got nothing on us. I feel like at some point... I mean, we try and fail with Psycho Gun, and then Hell Gun becomes a, a thing, right? Because we have a special powered-up Hell Gun that we haven't used yet. Yeah, but we only get that if we've... Uh... Someone has gone recently to hell recently, and we've absorbed. Yeah, recently the had a powers. girlfriend die. Yeah. Maybe when I use the cycle gun, it will ask me where I want to aim, and I'm like, shoot him in the head. It's not made out of that glass. We finally sidestepped it, but it's a but it's a boomerang claw of death, and it gets us on the way back. We've tried it. Oh. Now the game's like, use the fucking psycho gun, damn it. <laughs> no, I pressed it. It did give me okay. options. No, it still just goes through him. Shoot him in the head. Yeah, but the meters disappeared. Don't waste your time, Cobra. Your psycho gun is useless against me. Nah, they're back. At least I didn't lose any mind from that ripping claw. It's like a fart claw. It's a ripping. <laughs> Now I 
whole gun up here. It's not. I've toyed with you long enough. We just had to survive the gonna... boss battle for long enough for him to trigger the next story event. I think we just had to try each attack Go once. Or at least Edmonton. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to defend Edmonton, but... Yeah, it's a Mystery Science Story reference. I don't know anything about Edmonton. What? <laughs> he can't hear the ship over the wind. Oof. He can't hear the ship over the ship's alarms. <laughs> She looks ashamed. What took you so long, lady? Actually, I had to do something this time, punk. I won my battle. <laughs> um, you know, they should have let us take that wrong gun and shoot the ship and have it blow up. I mean, they had it reset like four or five times anyways if you go to the wrong rooms every time. That's yeah, true. They might as well have let us have a, a thing where it, maybe they had had planned for it, and they were like, "Well, we can't really fit it on the disc." Animation of your. We ship really being need to bring the Python with us the next time we think we're gonna fight. Yeah, Boy. We <laughs> Poor thing. There's nothing left of Big Bird. Oh, neon or otherwise. Don't know what I do without this armored beauty. Okay, dude, come on. Radar's clean. Can look at it the same as always, though. Not necessary. Thank you. Took some Windex to it. Don't need it. I wish it would say this more often with stuff. Unnecessary. Like when I look at the radar, it could have easily said that too. Talk about the fact that one of your engines is at down. Where's my sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> In the medic room, sleeping. The tattoo on her back is burned beyond recognition. How could anyone be so cruel? I don't know, but I'm who murdered a bunch of nuns are jerks. I'm gonna figure out how they be so cruel and be so cruel back to them. We've lost every lead we've had. The ultimate weapon is now out of reach. You mean Denzibar? Yes, I'm sure the guild's wasting no time. They probably already have it in their grass. Oh well, let's go have another space adventure where we don't fight pirates. Boy, I should have my head examined. Dr. Light's Dr. Medicine! Light's medicine? Um, medicine? Question mark? He said something about being able to reproduce the cells. Then maybe something can be done about the burns on her back. Yes. When the cells regenerate themselves, they'll also have the exact right amount of ink in each cell to look exactly yeah, like it's supposed to. Yeah, they'll regenerate the tattoo that was part of her DNA. Oh, that's right. He did mention some kind of magic medicine because we were like, well, could you bring back our current girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we leave the room here. Oh, wait. Can we look? Oh, the pilot seat. Planet Neon. The entire planet is wrapped in a sea of clouds. Oh, so the planet was Neon, and Big Bird was on Planet Neon. Okay. Kind of like Planet Sesame Street, Big Bird. This is just Planet oh, Neon's wait, Big the... Bird. Different... My bad. I, just, I just needed to flex my pecs a bit, get my glutes going. Mm -hmm. Can we switch back to a Robot Woman walking around? At least she gets to carry guns instead of having them strapped in her arms. Oh, never mind. We still got we to look at Robot Hydra. <laughs> Owie, that's got to hurt something awful. The way your hair got bleached after we took you out of the dungeon where it was clearly brown. How is it? Isn't it? Can't tell yet. I sure hope it works. They must have caught wind of our destination. Didn't they say someone was on our ship? No, those five robot uh, Barabbas were and we took them out. Oh, I see. You could they have known you and I were the only ones who had that information. Or how could Lady, they I think we've got an uninvited passenger. <gasps> a spy? 
Well, there's only one other thing on the ship. Queen told me she planted her men on board. One of her men on board. Oh, my. I'm going to look for him. I'll get him. And when I do, I'll realize that he's a plant. I'm going to find him. I'll get him. When I do, I'll ask him what he desires. Plants. They are traitors working for the Pirate Guild. Yeah, no, this plan is not just a... Tr this plan isn't even working for the Pirate Guild. He's got to be one of the 11 ruling council members. A present from Dr. Light. Man, talk about a weird gift. Well, Was Dr. Light a Pirate Guild the whole time, too? I'm starved! Ravenous! Underfed! Very hungry! Famished! Undernourished! Dying for food! Insatiable! Deprived and depressed! What have you got to eat? Feed me! Insatiable? Feed me. They should have had this guy voiced by Gilbert Godfrey. Well, I think they, you know, for all intents and purposes, they did this budget well, about Gilbert doing? Godfrey. I'm starved! Rabbit. Oh, wow, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we haven't heard. Come on. Let's look at this plant. Paragrass. That loudmouth plant. <laughs> Multi screen. That loudmouth plant. I mean, I guess maybe it's not this guy. Or maybe we have to look guy. everywhere first so that we know that it's the only thing. Yeah, we come back to him after we've... After I thorough search the first one. It would have been good if we came in here and uh, there was just, like, some guy taking a shower. He's like, oh, you're back! <laughs> well, my back's got a tattoo on it. I don't know about yours. Yeah, everybody in the Pirate's Guild got a tattoo reveals some kind of hidden treasure. Although you'd think that the spy would have gotten off the ship as soon as possible when, like, he knew it was going to be attacked by some uh, Red Devil Barabbas. There's a little bit of a logical inconsistency in this game. Man, it's a pretty awesome bike. 500 kilometer cruising range. Yep. Check the wall to the left. Oh no! The engine room's a hexagon! <laughs> Let's look at the other room. <laughs> There's been a guy just like hanging out in this one wall the whole time. <laughs> he's naked and chained to a wall, but he's got a transmitter so he can still spy on you. <laughs> he's sitting on a mine. <laughs> he's spying on her! And then he's gonna spy on me! Oh my, oh my god. It's the freaking plant. Why can't we just deal with the plant? Because we don't know that for sure. Oh man, look at this. Yow, did a tornado hit this room or what? I wish they told me about this. Hiding in there. <laughs> I just didn't even bother to mention this. <laughs> It's like, well, we can't do anything about it. The game's almost over. All right, there's Let's one more room. Let's just make it through. So you gotta play the piano. The piano. Let me just stick my belt in there. Do you know what we actually have to do is we just have to go use the scanner. Their hair turns slightly more blonde when we overlay lay them. Insufficient data. It's just the light of the dungeons are false. Oh, wait. Never mind. All right. so I'm, I'm relatively spot. sure that what we have to do is go use the scanner here. And then we'll be like, oh, hey, there's somebody here. A plant on the ship that says it's a gift from Dr. Light. <laughs> We just have to ask it something only Dr. Light's plant would know. How do you not need to scan within the ship? What a because it's obvious to that plant. <laughs> Is there anything on the radar? I was kind of hoping it was going to be like, there's a thing leaving the room. Or not a thing leaving the, the room. Uh, there's like an escape pod leaving the ship. Oh, well. Guess that's the guy. Let's blow him up. In the room. Can... Nothing's in the room? Okay. I guess you could play the piano, but... Chopping. 
Does anyone like chopping? My love for Jane. Hi, this message is from Jane. The plant is the spy, dumbass. Thanks for killing my sister and getting me killed and then having my other sister's back burned. Why? I want to confess something about my sister, Dominique. I told you before that I didn't know where she was. But I lied. I do know. She's on Neon, the planet of clouds. If only we knew. Yep, okay, so this is not new, but... How could it be the plant that's a spy, though, unless the plant can move around on its own? Well, the plant maybe can move around on its own when it's not disguised as a plant. Oh, could be. It's a shapeshifter. It's an Odo. It's just, it just has a really good sense of smell, which means that it can hear you talking to the robot lady. Because senses are confused. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. You smell that? So either we're going to confront the plant now, or we're going to talk to the lady about the plant. Well, how you doing? I'm starved! It could have been an important clue in that dialogue, you know. He's, he's hungry. All right, let's go talk to the lady. He's hungry for secrets that he can give to Queen. That's true. We should have been suspicious of Sister Queen earlier than that. Oh, Paragrass. Paragrass is starving. Get him something, will ya? Paragrass? Wait a minute, it's the other way around. Dr. Dr. Light. Light left him here, didn't he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're right, it was the other way around. No, I don't know how he got here. <laughs> <gasps> then what? I'm assuming I have to talk one more time about it. Nope, I don't. She's not curious about why we said huh, then what? Curious why I have to stand no, no, at this angle. No, oh, I'm wasting some optimal gameplay. Ah. This gives this again. Any missed turn could trigger an explosion, Surfall. <laughs> well, it looks like we'll be confronting this paragraph next time. I hope we do it efficiently because any missed turn could trigger Crystal Boy just showing up for an eight hour boring ass <laughs> inaudible <laughs> cutscene battle. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>